three ways to make your first hundred thousand dollars in a business model and these are actually businesses we've done a hundred thousand dollars in this is not an idea so this is a video that's going to share with you guys from my own personal experience pros and cons on these three models tap in the first business model is Turo. it is a car rental platform app okay where you're pretty much getting your car you're renting it to guests in your local marketplace and that's that now i'll talk about cons first and then i'll tell you the the pros there's some cons in this business model where obviously it's the car sharing industry right rentals car rentals where where obviously it's a lot more money and a lot more risk up front whether it's a used car that you spent three to five grand ten grand in cash or it's a finance vehicle that still has a loan attached to it that you're paying monthly either way there is a lot of cash that you have to put up front in this business model okay and to get to 100,000 it's not a walk in the park in this business model there's a lot of manual labor there's a lot more cars you're gonna need you can't just you know have two cars and think you're gonna make 100k almost I think that's pretty much almost impossible you're gonna have multiple cars the more cars the more revenue okay just because you have more cars doesn't mean more profit by the way that's another story but again, cons in this business model is money up front, the ability to know it's manual labor. It does take a lot more labor intensive to scale this. Okay, you're gonna need more people that can clean, check in, check out customer service. There's gonna be customers that might hit you up mid trip and say, hey, I have questions, okay? <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot, claims, incidentals. So this is not one of those automated type of business models until you get the right players in your business that can help you through a few of the different departments. So that's the cons of this business model. The pros of this business model, you turn a liability and a straight up asset, a liability to the world, right? Cars that are liabilities to a majority of the world become an asset to you, pays you, pays off your car note, pays off your insurance. It pays you and gives you extra profit. You learn about the car industry. You learn about the rental car biz. You learn about maybe buying and selling vehicles. You learn so much about cars in general when it comes to maintenance. So there's a lot of pros and it teaches you how to build a business. It teaches you how to run a business. They do the marketing. They give you everything you need. All you need to do is give your car and serve where you gotta serve. There is upside to this biz, but the pros again, I think overarching is I've learned a lot in the car biz. I've created a lot of content around it and I've taught a lot of people that are interested because most people have a car. A handful have an extra car. So. Those are some pro, pro, pros to get into this business model, the Turtle Rental Biz. I got a lot of videos, okay? I'll link a video below, how to start it, what you need, and I do I have a huge playlist on just Turtle in general. But again, and I also just did a video recently on how we did 100,000 already in the year, and we had a few months left in the year. So it's an interesting business model, something I wouldn't first get into to try to scale. If I was looking at business models, I wouldn't get in this one if I was thinking 100,000. What's the fastest way and the easiest way to get to 100,000? Not this business model. If you're into cars, you're into this industry, I'd start off with a Turo rental car biz if you're into that or at least thinking about renting a vehicle or so that you have and learning that business model. It's worth it, again, if you're in into it. But this is the first business model I'm gonna talk about. Business model number two, this is Amazon. Now, a couple years ago, I taught on Amazon drop shipping. You'll see that video, it has like over 70K views. Okay, I, I created stuff around it, taught people about Amazon drop shipping. We had a great amount of people that got great results. But the Amazon market shifted. So it went from drop shipping to fulfilled by Amazon, FBA. There's different models in FBA. What I'm gonna be talking about is the simplest model to get into, which I believe, and how do I know? Because I evaluate a lot of business models, okay? And it's Amazon FBA Online Arbitrage. Amazon FBA Online, online Arbitrage. I started a brand new store just a few months ago, and I'm, I did in one month, just last month, I did $3,000 in sales revenue. Profit is definitely like anywhere from, I think it's 20% margin. I gotta check my books on all that because I'm, I'm learning that business model. I've been already doing Amazon for a couple of years now with a different model that's not this model I'm teaching, but Amazon's been the game. It's the easiest way to scale to 100,000 as far as like leverage, sitting at your desk, working from home, not having to deal with customer service too. That's why I like about FBA. You don't need to deal with customer service, okay? 
Now, I know I'm going from cons and pros. Let's just talk about cons with uh, online arbitrage, okay? Cons. The cons of it is you probably are not into, and I'm thinking about, I'm like, what are the cons? Two things, I'll, I'll, I'll narrow it down to two things. One, you're not into product research. You probably really suck at product research or it's really boring. If you're not, if you don't get excited about product research, this business model is not gonna be for you because you're always constantly finding new products for online arbitrage, okay? Especially out the gates and especially as you're scaling this and maintaining and growing it. Obviously, long-term, you can hire people, but you gotta really fall in love with, not even fall in love, but really enjoy the process of finding products. If you don't, that's a con. It might not be the business model for you. That's the first con. The second con is if you're not into Amazon in general, meaning you don't like Amazon to do your marketing, you don't wanna list your products on Amazon, and on top of that, since you have products with Amazon, you gotta send it out to Amazon, you need capital to be able to invest into product. Now, the question is always, how much capital do I need, okay? I'll tell people, if you have like a thousand bucks, you can get started. A few hundred bucks in products, uh, softwares that you need, and you're good to go. The more money, the more capital, the more testing, the more you can scale, and the quicker you can get started up and start getting your first sales. And again, if you just don't like the Amazon website to be like as a seller and you're not the type of person that likes Amazon to take control because they can ban you at any time, well, this might not be for you. That's definitely a con. Again, I think about this business and I'm like, there's not really any cons outside of Amazon FBA. Unless you get banned on the platform, you go against the TOS, terms of service, you're not into product researching and you don't have much capital. I don't know anyone that doesn't have, and I, you know what, I'm not gonna say that, but to not have a few hundred bucks saved up to invest into a, a business that's gonna work and make, make more money, doesn't make sense to me for you not to have it. That's the con. Now, what are the pros? Pros, you get to scale an online business, okay? You get products shipped to your house, then you send it out. You probably gotta drop it off, but that's it. But long-term, you can get these shipped to a third-party prep center that can prep it for you. You buy the products from any one of the online places, Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, uh, Chewy.com, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. There's so many distributors, by the way. You buy it from there online, you send it straight to the third party prep, they prep it, they send it to Amazon, you get paid, okay? It's as simple as it can get. Pros, again, no customer service. Cool thing about FBA is you don't need to do customer service. Wow, I know, so amazing. And I'll, do, I'll link you guys my last video I just dropped on this, kind of like a simple process on how to do it, what to do it, and how to fulfill it in-house and send it out, because you gotta learn the full model. And there's so many pros, like I said. Obviously, to make $100,000 in the biz, and I'm, I'm just talking about revenue, okay, y'all? Profit, you guys go work out your own profit. W work it out the way you want, margins, how you run your business. Every person's gonna run their business differently when it comes to prof profit. When it came to the rental car biz, to this biz, I'm talking about revenue. Can you scale this to 100,000 quick? You can. In fact, you can do 100,000 in one month. That's why I like this business model, is you can scale this quick. Okay, with way more leverage, a lesser team, smaller team, with just like literally you, a VA or two, and a third-party prep summer, and you're good. You're gonna you'll be scaling this business model to the moon. <laughs> That's what I like about it. So it's very, very simple business model. It is growing. Amazon's just growing. You know, you, you just can't stop the beast. That's that's there. You just can't stop it. So that's the pros of it. Now, you guys are probably gonna have questions about how do I do it, you know, all that. I did a step-by-step -step video, go watch that. I'll link it in the description below. But Amazon FBA, online arbitrage, look up those keywords, online arbitrage, go down the rabbit hole, you'll find a lot of good content. Watch my next video, my last video I just dropped and you'll be like, you'll evaluate to know like, I could do this. This is a very simple business model. I can't even believe this is legal. <laughs> like straight up, this that's how simple I think it is, especially someone that's been in the drop shipping, e-commerce space for a long time, over five plus years as I'm uh, sharing this video, since 2016 actually. So it's been a, it's quite some time. Amazon FBA, online arbitrage, look that up. Watch this business model, simple one to scale to 100K. Last business model and something I've been in since 2016 as well. This is a growing industry for the next decade. By 2025, it's gonna be a billion dollar a day industry and that's digital products. Everyone's selling digital products. Now I'm sharing when you actually 
build a skill, learn a skill, get results with that skill, then teach it. Why not? Why not? People are learning and paying for things to learn things quick, and they just want to get a skill quick, and they're willing to pay for a digital product. This is where e-learning is going to. Digital products, we call them info products, information products. Now, what are some cons and pros of this business model? Honestly, I can't really think of any cons except two things probably. It's one is maybe you might not be tech tech savvy. You're like, oh, I don't know how to use any online platforms. I don't know how to build a website. I don't know about funnels. I don't know about email marketing and all the tech and the software. Yeah, well, a lot of us don't know, didn't know either, but we ended up learning. So it's not a matter of you know, the right resources is about being resourceful with the internet, with Google, with YouTube, like you guys are on right now. So I just think it's a lack of knowing software, how to integrate everything so you can de properly deliver the digital product. I do all that. I've been doing that again since 2016. I worked with Ty Lopez back in the day, so I have saw where it's gone, built my own digital products. My agency helped a, a handful of well-known brands in the digital product space. So it's just a space that I just see is growing forever and ever more. Digital products, cons, one is like the whole, again, a lack of no, not knowing software or or uh, or funnels, marketing, you know, connecting all the all the back end stuff and triggers. That might be one, not knowing how to deliver it. And maybe not knowing video, because you gotta know video. You gotta know how you gotta be in front of a camera. You if you wanna convert, if you wanna grow quick. Okay, if you want to build people's trust. So it's a lack of that. And then number two is possibly, and as I'm thinking about them now, there's quite a few, but I'm just going to narrow it down. Number two, when I think about the cons of digital products is your digital product doesn't produce a result for your, your customer. And I wouldn't see why you wouldn't, but we've seen a lot of scams in the industry. We've seen this industry get a lot of hate. We've seen e-commerce, e e-learning be one of those things that people would scam, take advantage they'd go take somebody else's course, rip off their full course and resell it for their own to their own audience. And just like in every industry, there's always gonna be scammers. There's always gonna be people in that. But I guess in this industry, there's been so many because of how simple it is to make, how much profit margin there is. Again, there's just a quick way to it, but this is gonna really separate the wheat and the tear, the people that are evil versus those that are good. The brands are gonna last long versus not. Digital products, y'all, there's a lot of cons. Let's talk about pros. Pros, this is a scalable product. Pros, you can start creating a digital product right now for the very least amount of effort. You can literally upload videos onto the G Drive and sell it like that if you want. Minimal, minimal monthly, very, very little monthly to, uh, to uh, uh, overhead to run an education company and very high profit margin. And this is the future. Pros, this is gonna be a growing industry. As long as you got a skill that can produce a result, you can teach on it, you can package it, and then you can price it. And that's it. This is the world we're going into. People are always buying digital products. I literally just bought one again this past week. I'm probably gonna buy one again <laughs> this next for Black Fridays. Like, this is why I'm, I'm always learning, okay? The average person, I don't know if the average person's, obviously, I'm not like everybody and everyone's not like me. So me, I, I, I I invest heavily into digital products. I have my own, obviously, but I invest into a lot of others because I respect the people that are actually building businesses in specific industries, no skills that they've taken months and years, a decade to hone in their craft, to sharpen their craft and to get really good results. I'm paying for it. And we've used, I've even paid for financial calculator digital products. I've paid for Notion template digital product. I literally just paid for somebody a couple months ago, a hundred bucks for a couple Notion template digital products. I'm telling y'all, digital products is going to be the future. And you wanna think about the simplest business model out of all these that you can scale, that is literally from your home, wherever you're at, e-learning company, education company, info product company, information digital product company. This is where it's at, okay? I did a video on that too. I'll link all those below. Hopefully you guys got clarity and just some wisdom from this talk. Thank you guys so much. Again, I will link uh, exact videos on my channel on teaching on all these different business models. Go to those links, check that out. You can join my newsletter, my email list. I talk a lot about all these different business models, what I'm doing. You guys can join that, tap into the newsletter below. Any questions, when you tap into the newsletter, you can actually reply to the emails and email me. It's rc 
at kingdomxcommunity.com. I might have a different email a year, three years from now. Who knows? But anyways, as long as you stay in touch with my emails, you'll always have my exact email that my support team can reply back and, and whatnot. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Tap in, like this video if you guys enjoyed, subscribe. Go in and hit those resources below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.